Our final speaker of Act One is a visual artist based in Calgary, Alberta. I follow her on the social medias. Uh, with a focus in bad portraits, contemporary painting, fine art, projection art, virtual reality, augmented reality, and film. She is in search of sharing vulnerability and joy. We'll give a warm welcome to Mandy Stobo. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You guys are amazing, by the way. OK, are we ready? I'm ready, maybe. If I'm not ready, just be nice to me, OK? OK, so my name is Mandy Stobo. Overdue is defined as not happening when expected, which was the first few chapters of my life. I've learned a few things because of my experience that I think are overdue. And after my story is shared here, I've made rhymes out of all of the lessons, and I need your participation with it. So right now, let's practice. I was pregnant twice. Both times I was overdue. Yeah, OK, great job. OK, so I'm a visual artist. I created a, a project called Bed Portraits when I was a single mom with no job, money, or education. I basically stole people's pictures and then sent them a watercolor painting of it. And uh, I also focus in large contemporary paintings, installation and design work, illustration, VR, content creation, film, live performance. Here we go. So when my sister and I were three and five, we were sexually abused by our babysitter who was a relative any time our folks went out. The sexual assault continued for six years and as a three to nine year old created extremely difficult pathways in my brain that would define my next few decades. Through this horror, I developed severe anorexia by the age of 12, which brought on hair loss, muscle loss, organ failure, and I was hospitalized for quite some time. Sadly, but fortunately, this is where I met my next set of trauma, led by an employee there. And this was quite the inspiration to put on weight and be released. So it was a positive and equally horrific experience, but one that saved my life. Due to the rush to escape such circumstance, I hadn't done the mental and emotional work to be healthy, and so I believe these traumas continued in various forms for the next 15 years. From being drugged and left in the forest for many, being taken while exploring other countries, and by being in various physically and emotionally abusive relationships, it all stemmed from this little tiny child brain trying to grow and heal in such a state. And my first son, who's now a bold and awesome teenager, was the first external circumstance to make me stand up and ask for my worth, because he was worth so much. And this was beyond overdue. So here are a few more things that I've realized that are overdue, such as ultimate self-worth. And this is where I need you to help me. And I start rhyming, so don't fuck up, OK? <laughs> Sorry. So saying no is hard to say, especially when you're asked all day to do more work, be at this place, get fit, have fun, live in the chase. But sometimes we need to say no. I can't, too, because saying no is? Oh, that was awesome, you guys. Can you guys come everywhere with me? Because that would be great. So when I was suffering, I never thought I could dream or want or be. And so this is something I really want to see. For my kids and my friends and all of you here, let's start choosing what we want to appear, the things that we need, the big dreams too. All of these things are? Over you. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> now this one was tough and still hard to expel. But no matter what circumstance there is of hell, we need to let go. We can be brave and be true, and allowing this is the biggest thing to be. Overdue. Magic. Magic. Are you getting this, Kelly? OK, <laughs> <laughs> my mom always told me to love and let go, and that no matter what you don't know, you do know love, and you do know pain, and you do know it's OK to never stay the same. So worry less, love your babies more, for that is the secret to expansion galore. And this, my sweet friends, might be something you knew, but if it is not, then it's Over you. Uh, there's a lot of these, so just <laughs> get into it. The next one is fun because we don't do it enough. So stand up and dance all over your stuff. Dance when you want to and dance when you're tired. Being foolish will always make you inspired. And this is a secret I want to come true because dancing for fun is... Over you. Right, Steve? Yeah. This one is weird, but I wanted it here. 
For I wish our kids' lives to be a little more secure. I want so badly for this image here to not be about abuse or fear. I wish for our kids to see something like this and think, oh, they're in love and they're finding their bliss. Instead of seeing torture and pain, I want them to feel they have so much to gain. This one here is a good lesson too, and for that, let's all shout out. Now, clearly, I'm not alone in this world with horrors, horror and stories that shake every nerve. Each of us should say what we need and never have ridicule or face disbelief. Our words and our stories have shaped who we are. We need to share them in order to soar. So when someone says what they need to to you, please remember this is something. Magic. There's five more. I'm sorry. Okay, jumping on that, I want to focus right now on the amount of good men that should stand and take bows. There are so many terrible things in this world, but there are equally good things that need to be heard. My life is surrounded by incredible guys who are deserving of love from all of the sides. So with every respect to me too, let's not forget good men, and that's... Okay, with PST, PTSD, your brain is half black where you can't remember things and you can't get moments back. So after some time and some healing has come, this might be the biggest secret for some, allowing yourself to feel all the things from sadness to joy to every moment it brings. For these are the moments that guide what we do and feeling it all is so... Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, we're, I've lost some. No. <laughs> okay, uh, just a minute. Phil, my husband's in the crowd. Maybe you can help. Oh, it's right here. I'd like to stop here, but I can't because there's more. But this is one for all the ones scared to explore. There's nothing wrong saying who you are deep inside. Nothing wrong enjoying the beautiful ride. Anyway, I like me, you guys, which is feeling so no, so new. And that is a feeling that is? Thank you. Expression and trueness need to exist, letting things be different than you may have wished. Everyone deserves a love that is true. I am they, I am me, and I'm just like you. So I think it's time, that time to shout loud. Overdue is the need to feel so very proud. Two more to go, I'm sorry, and I hope you've had fun. This is something I've only just begun. Slowing down to heal up is something we need to find those calm spaces to be in and breathe. Slow, slow down and heal up, it's what I like to say. It's great for everyone I know every day. Slow down, heal up, it's a good thing to do. And that, my friends, is? Yeah, thank you. So all I need to say to you <laughs> right now is thank you for having me here today. <laughs> And now we get beer. I'm going to have 10. <laughs> <laughs>